Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and today I'm going to show you how to find manufacturing facilities so you can get blueprints all the time, and it is crazy easy. It's crazy easy, so hopefully, guys, you, you're looking for that. If you are, hit that like button for me. So, they have changed the signal booster, and I'll show you right here. If you go and try to use your signal booster right now, all you could do is search for nearby buildings or drop pods. That's it. And so in order to find a manufacturing facility, you need to scan secure frequencies. They took that away. Where did they put it? Well, now it is on the space station. So if you go down the space station, like right here, you go over to the right side where the, the mission agent and the... Uh, oh, God, I forget what this guy is. The envoy is... There's also, there is a new desk. This is the cartographer's desk. Now, when you talk to the cartographer, and this is in every space station, you can talk to the cartographer. They will take forever, but they'll sell you for map. They'll sell you maps. And so you can use navigational data. You can trade navigational data for a map, or you can buy one with 15 nanites. So it's a little bit easier. If you don't have any navigational data, you can just buy one for 15 nanites if you have the nanites. So, let's get one because I have a whole bunch of navigational data. Let's get one of those. Now, this is going to be the cool thing about this. They gave, you just gave me a planetary chart. Now, in order to use a planetary chart, you have to go into your exosuit. You'll see right here, there's a planetary chart right there. And if you hold X, it'll it'll plot a route to a secure site. You see in the, in the uh, red at the top, it says planetary chart. A map of a nearby planet, a secure site of interest has been marked. That's what you're looking for, a secured site of interest. That's where you're going to find manufacturing facilities. But here's the best part. Once you get one of them, he will always, always, the cartographer will always give you more. So, I have two of them. Let's talk to the cartographer again. Okay, no, stop freaking out, okay. So, I already have one secure frequency, and this is the other bad part. You have to talk to them every single time. Let's get another one. And now we look in there. Now I have three, and it says secure site of interest. Whoa, what the heck is that? So, let's use this thing. Boom. Manufacturing facility detected. Okay. That's cool. Let's go back in there. It says, secure site of interest. Let's use that one. Operation center detected. You can keep doing that, but the only thing is, you have to have a map already in your inventory that is a secure site of interest. Because he'll give you different maps depending on what the uh, RNG, the random number generator, gives you. And so, it's a very low thing. I think you get an alien, uh, alien site of interest as well. And so, and there's a couple other things you can get. So you want to get a secure site of interest. That's the maps you're looking for. And once you have one, make sure that's the only kind of map you have. And once you have one, he will always give you more. So there you go. Boom. And now, once I go in there, I have another one. So let's use it. Nothing found. Okay, so I have... No other uh, sites of interest, no other manufacturing facilities here. That's okay. Let's go check out a manufacturing facility now. Alright, so once you've found your uh, manufacturing facility, let's land in the uh, landing area. That way we don't use any fuel to uh, get out of here. And now once you exit your uh, starship, it creates a little save, an auto save for you, just in case you mess up. So. Once you get here, you're going to want to blast open this door, this reinforced door, okay? Now, you're going to cause a lot of trouble, and the Sentinels are going to get mad and come after you, but that's okay. Because once you're inside, they cannot attack you. Now, once you're inside, you're going to have to talk to this, use this terminal right here. Now, they're going to give you a riddle, and that's fine, but, like, in, this is a Gek system, so it's going to be in the Gek language. The more words you know in the Gek language, the easier it's going to be, okay? But don't worry about it. If you fail the riddle, that's fine. Reload your autosave and come back, okay? That's what, that's how you're going to game the system a little bit. You can save scum if you need to. 
So if you fail the riddle. So let's do it. The alarm has rebooted the facility. An automated startup routine is running. The terminal flashes text at me, clearly expecting some input. Warning. Product formula unselected. Assigned formula. Gek Trade Federation lose units. A 3D interface awaits in front of me, awaiting blueprint for the facility to mass produce. Machines around me hum as they warm up. Let's, oh man, that's, uh, I don't even know what that is. So let's do, um, so let's do a synthetic plant. Terminal accepts my design and installation starts up the procedure. The GEC who runs this facility may appreciate the extra green in their environment. Normal operations have resumed and I have access to the facility's main control panel. I should be able to alter products to my own benefit. Let's learn a new recipe right here. Boom. So now I could choose which recipe I want to learn. And so there's a whole bunch of different things you can do. So I can learn how to make Tetra Cobalt. I mean, and all the ones that have one right here, those are the ones that I don't have. So you see how it says level one right here, Tetra Cobalt, or this one to over here, the Star Shield battery. All the other ones I've already learned. So if it, they're already open, I've already learned them and they're good to go. But I mean, I can learn how to do uh, the organic catalyst. So this really helps if you're trying to make a certain item because you're going to need base items to get to the other items. So what I mean by that is lubricant. You're going to need lubricant in order to make, uh, what is it? Acid. Acid, lubricant. You know, the, look at that tree right there. Circuit board. You're going to need a heat capacitor to make circuit board. And you're going to need a heat capacitor and polyfiber. Okay? So that's how that kind of works out. So you can kind of look at the tree and know, okay, these are the things I need to learn in order to get all the way down, okay? So like here, I need to learn a cryo pump. I can totally do that. Or you see how I can't learn this fusion accelerant because I haven't learned the one before it. All right, that's why it's not highlighted. I can't learn it. But if I learn the organic catalyst, next time I can learn how to make the fusion accelerant. All right, so that's how it's working now. It's weird and beyond. They kind of give you more of an open thing. I want to learn how to do the warp core. High capacity antimatter based fuel. I wonder if this is better than our regular warp, uh, warp cores. So let's learn how to make that. There you go. See, and there we go. I learned it. So I'm actually going to make some antimatter. And now I can make a warp core. So, hmm, and it's only worth 47,000 units. That's not, that's not good because I think my storm crystals are worth more. Yeah, my storm crystals are worth more on their own than a warp cord is. So hopefully that thing refills your uh, hyperdrive better. So, well, I mean, I hope you guys like this video, this kind of explanation over manufacturing facilities and how to get recipes again and beyond. So... If you did, hit that like button for me, and if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading episodes all the time, and I will see you guys next time.